Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and in an upcoming Hornet update, we have a couple cool features coming your way. Uh, both the air-to-ground mode for the helmet mount display, as well as the ability to uh, designate targets through the HUD in any mode now. So first, let's take a look at the um, air-to-ground mode of the HMD. So up ahead here at waypoint one, we have the designators our target, which you can see down here is the diamond, and here on the HUD, and also here on the SA page. Now if we look off here to the right, we see a flashing diamond indicating that the target location is currently outside the field of view of the HMD. We have a target locator line pointing to the location and you can see it's 22 degrees away. Moving to the other side, a similar thing. We have the flashing diamond indicating the target is outside the field of view and it's about 22 degrees off. Let's go ahead and pause. Come off to the west a bit. Now we look over, we have a nice solid diamond indicating the uh, target location is inside the HUD field of view, uh, HMD field of view, but it's solid indicating it's non-actionable and cannot be slewed. But if we go ahead and press sensor control switch forward, we'll make the HMD our sensor of interest, our SOI. And now it's segmented, meaning it's actionable, and using the TDC switch, we can actually slew it around. Uh, to get rid of it, we'll go ahead and hit the undesignate switch on the stick. And now we have a reticle in the center of the HMD. And we can use this to manually designate a target location for attack just by moving our head, place it over the target area, and depress the TDC switch. And now we've made that our location. And of course, we can see that's still uh, actionable, uh, segmented, so we can still slew it around Altitude. if we wish. Altitude. And once we add the uh, AT FLIR targeting pod, which is already in work, uh, we'll also have the ability to see the uh, targeting pod uh, field of view indications on the HMD as well, kind of like what we see in the A10 right now. So the next big item is the ability to uh, designate uh, targets through the HUD in any mode. Now in the current uh, version of the Hornet, we can uh, designate targets uh, through the HUD in auto mode but now we can actually do it in CCIP mode as well. So again, we want to make sure that we have the HUD as our sensor of interest, indicated by the dot in the center of the velocity vector. And it's also worth noting that unlike the A10, where you have separate HOTAS commands to make the HUD in the HMD the sensor of interest, the Hornet is smart enough to know that if the HMD is being displayed uh, and its sensor control switch is up, that it should be automatically the sensor of interest, where if it's not, then the HUD is automatically the sensor of interest. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back again. And we're basically going to fly to place the velocity vector in the general location of the target area. Altitude. Altitude. And depress the TDC switch. And now we have an actionable cursor we can slew over the target area again. And again, to get rid of it, just go ahead and hit the undesignate button. So those are some of the very basic ins and outs of using the air ground mode in the HMD, as well as being able to designate targets through uh, any mode uh, using the HUD now. I hope you find this video useful, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.